another taste testing video and today oh my goodness snowballs i'm scared it's got a marshmallow and chocolate in it so these must like you can see it on the front a marshmallow and chocolate are there marshmallow and chocolate on the inside or wait mrs freshly's i don't know i thought mrs what's mrs freshly's i thought snowballs were made by hostess no are these a different kind are these a different kind of snowballs i thought hostess made these I'm not too sure so um i don't know if these have like chocolate and marshmallow on the inside or if they just taste like s'mores let me know if you like these this is another one of those products that i used to sell at uh, a candy store that i worked at back when i was in university and i never had the guts to try these ones um do you wonder why <laughs> like i don't know they don't look so good to me they're kind of cute though because they're pink and i love pink but um, maybe not so advertising. Do they have coconut on the outside? They do like coconut, so that's something good. Um, the first two ingredients are corn syrup and high fruct fructose corn syrup. I didn't even know there was a difference between the two. That's a little bit concerning, but that's okay. Um, and then water and sugar. Is there any coconut? Uh, there doesn't seem to be coconut. I don't think. So let's open it and give it a go. I'm very nervous, guys. It does smell like coconut. So there must be coconut in it. It's probably some like fake coconut flavor. Right? It's like some chemical. <laughs> But it looks like there's coconut. Oh, there is coconut. I see it. Coconut. Okay, I was right. There is coconut. Okay, that's good. That's positive because I like coconut. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ew. It feels weird. Ew. It's like squishy, but it's got some hard stuff in the middle. Ew. Okay, sorry, I'm being over dramatic, but I'm just really surprised about everything that's going on right now. I need to put my chair down. You're not able to see my face when I go up, but. Yeah, what is that? It looks like a burger from McDonald's. <gasps> is it the. Oh my god. I'm actually scared for my life. No, I'm being dramatic. I'm really sorry. I'm being dramatic. Um, this is going to be very messy. I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to clean up my desk after this because the coconut is just going everywhere. I don't know if you can see. Okay, it's not going everywhere anymore. But So I'm guessing that's chocolate down the bottom because remember we saw the chocolate and marshmallow in there. So I'm guessing that's chocolate. Let's give it a go. I've got hair in my mouth. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Okay. What? <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? I did not think it was going to be like this. Oh my, I'm actually shook it. It's like chocolate cake in the middle. Oh my gosh. I thought it was like, um, I thought it was all marshmallow. I thought it was all marshmallow. And I thought it was going to be chocolate in the middle. Like, like a, you know, like a piece of actual chocolate. I did not think it was mostly cake like that. It's fake news. Mm. 
This is a cream filled, of course. I quite like it. Oh my gosh, it's quite nice, actually. This is quite delicious, also. Oh my god, I've made such a mess. Wow. Oh my god, I'm making such a mess. Oh my god. This is very messy, that's what I can tell you. Like, can you believe this? I actually. Oh my god. I actually cannot believe this. I cannot believe it's mostly cake and it's falling apart. <laughs> I really should have gotten the plate. It's too late now. Oh. Okay, I've had enough, I think. This is how much I had. Wow, I kind of demolished that. Okay, I need to clean up my desk because this is disgusting. If you guys could see my desk right now, it's just all crumbs. I am so in shock, actually. I am so in shock. I have always thought that these were all marshmallow. That's why I was kind of confused when it said cream filled cakes. Oh. Cream filled cake. Oh, duh. It's a cake. I didn't even peep there. I didn't even like register. Cream filled cake. And a little bit of marshmallow on the outside with like coconut. Oh my god, these are actually really nice. I actually like these. Not like heaps like them, like not heaps, heaps like them, but I rate them. Like I rate them a good like, like honestly eight. Nah, seven and a half. I'd say seven and a half out of ten. Like I'm pleasantly surprised. Like these are yum, like good snack I feel. Like a real good afternoon snack with a cup of tea or something. Honestly, these are, these are really nice. I did not expect this. I actually want the rest, but it's so messy. Yeah, that's the only downfall, so messy. But if I had no one, I would have just gotten the plate and it would have been fine. But And actually, I like the cream in the middle. Usually, I don't like this fake kind of cream taste that um, a lot of Americans, uh, a lot of American stuff has. But this one is yum. It just suits. I've been sleeping on the snowballs, guys. Wow. I feel like the cake isn't too sweet, like the cake itself. But the cream and the outside layer kind of balances it out and it makes a really nice flavor. Wow. Wow. Seven and a half out of ten. Solid. Would I buy them again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Although, would I choose it over like a freshly baked cake? Like, you know at the supermarket you can get slice of a cat slices of cake or like small little pastry items would i choose that over a fresh bakery item i wouldn't to be honest but you know what this would be good for is um for traveling you know or a road trip or something i don't i don't know you can just put it in your bag and um it's a snack that you can have for later so it's definitely a convenient 
convenient uh, food product, I think, and it tastes yummy. Like it doesn't, it's not too sweet. It's a little bit sweet, like the cream is quite sweet, but the cake, like I said, kind of balances it out because the cake itself is not so sweet. So I think that's why it works so well. I am, oh my gosh, I am so just surprised. I can't actually get over it, guys. I actually can't get over how different it actually turned out to be. I was not expecting that. I really did expect like a full marshmallow thing. <laughs> That's when I bit into it and I looked at it, I was like, huh? <laughs> like, what? I was shocked. I did not expect like a brown cake to be in there. <laughs> so funny. I guess the one question that I have though is who is Mrs. Freshly's? Who is this? Where's Hostess gone? Or has Mrs. Freshly's always made these? Is this Mandela effect in action right now? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm so confused. But shout out Mrs. Freshly's. You do make life sweeter. You're a legend. Tick of approval from me. Seven and a half. Let me know if you like these. Let me know. By the way, check out my other videos that I've been doing. I, I taste tested blue heat takis. That was an interesting one. And I also tried marshmallow fluff. And I have a cooking video, a cooking video, where I actually made fluffy, what are they called? Fluffer Nutter grilled sandwich. So go check it out, guys. Um, it was very, very exciting. Um, I love trying new foods. When I worked at the candy store back at university, I just love trying new foods, man. Oh, wouldn't it have, it would have been cool if I filmed all of my reactions back then, eh? You know, stuff like Reese's and, um, I don't even know what else. I can't remember, but I tried so many different snacks. It was the best job ever, but not so good for your health because you got discounted snacks. And if the snacks were out of date or whatever, we could eat them and stuff. <laughs> Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, definitely check out my other taste testing videos, guys, and my reaction videos that I've been putting up as well. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.